Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today I will be talking about the martial arts used by the Tekken fighter Feng Wei. According to the official Tekken records, Feng is a practitioner of God Fist Hung Ga. However, as God Fist is most likely a fictional martial art, I will be talking about simply Hung Ga. But also the styles Feng clearly demonstrates, i.e. Tiger Kung Fu, Bak Fu Pei, and Bak Mei. So let's begin. Hung Ga. Date of origin, 17th century, the founder, Hung Haigun. Place of origin, Fujin Province, China. This external art is loosely based around the tiger style and is characterized by strong hand techniques and the tiger claw movement. The system's techniques stress the use of simultaneous striking and blocking, with blocks often used as a means of attacking opponents. A typical example of this can be seen when the Hunga practitioner is on the receiving end of a wild punch to the upper body or head. He will meet the incoming force and, with an accelerating blocking maneuver, crash into a vulnerable area with a force greater than his opponent can defend. The object of this is to either seriously damage the opponent or to send a shockwave of pain through him, thus diminishing his will to continue the attack. The art is extremely strenuous, and a strong body and the will to overcome pain are the primary importance if the practitioner is to master it. A common exercise is the horse stance, in which practitioners are required to remain in a squatting position with each leg bent at a 90 degree angle, as if they are sitting on an imaginary horse. This particular exercise is extremely difficult to perform correctly, even for 60 seconds, but traditional students would have been expected to hold a position for a period of half an hour to an hour before serious training was commanded. It can take a student up to one year to achieve this degree of skill. Tiger Kung Fu, date of origin, it's an indigenous art, no current known founder. Place of origin, Shandong Province, China. Inspired by the clawing motions of tigers and said to strengthen the bones, Tiger Kung Fu is one of the five animal systems of Chinese Kung Fu and is closely associated with Bak Fu Pai. The system focuses on quick attacking movements aimed at resolving a conflict swiftly but places no emphasis on blocking or evasive defensive techniques. It is not taught as a sport because of this reason. Traditional practitioners rely solely on deadly and shocking power and do no stamina training. This vicious system is characterized by direct movements, grabs, chokes, scrapes and punches combined with straight, side and crescent kicks. Bak Fu Pai The explanation? White Tiger Kung Fu in Cantonese. Date of origin is currently unknown. Founder known as Fun Do Dok. Place of origin? Shueshuan province in China. Now according to legend, Feng Du Duck, the founder of the system, was one of the few monks to escape with his martial arts knowledge from the brutal burning of the Southern Shaolin Temple in 1723. While meditating on Emai Mountain, he was visited by a goddess on a golden throne. She demonstrated a set of meditations called Fai Fung Sun Gun, which was said to greatly benefit the health of mankind, but also warned the monk that, because of the exercises and meditations were heaven-sent, he had to choose who he taught them to with great care. Consequently, a tradition of secrecy has always surrounded the art. Bak Fu Pei, as it is taught today, includes a number of sudden-style Chinese punches and kicks, including the reverse punch, low shin kicks and knee kicks are a commonly employed tactic and alongside the study of meditation and nutrition, iron palm practices are widespread. The most spectacular iron palm strike is the coconut break, in which after a number of years of iron palm practice, practitioners are able to smash coconuts with their fists or the back of their hand. A clean break indicates good, solid iron palm techniques. Back May. Explanation, white eyebrow in Cantonese. Date of origin, between 1650 and 1700. The founder, Bak Mei. Place of origin, again, the Sichuan province of China. The system is said to have been developed by a Shaolin monk nicknamed Bak Mei, meaning white eyebrow, of course. Some practitioners, however, claim he was a traitor to the Shaolin temple and worked as a spy for the Ying dynasty between 1644 and 1911 an allegiance that resulted in the burning down of the temple and Bak Mei's subsequent escape. Some animosity remains among Kung Fu stylists to this day, and some teachers refuse to teach Taolin students who have previously trained in Bak Mei. The important and powerful system is characterized by close contact, aggressive, explosive punches and blocks that are often thrown in decisive combinations. Hand movements, whip, 
cut and poke, and practitioners exhale hard when throwing punches. At its core, the system is a close-range fighting art found on four principles – to float, to sink, to swallow, and to split. These power principles refer directly to the forward, sideways, up and down motions of movement, and in particular the delivery or splitting of power and the swallowing or absorption of force. Further important fighting techniques used within the system are sinking, springing, thrusting, and neutralizing. The style has been fictionalized in popular Hong Kong movies such as the Shaolin Heroes or Shaolin Yin Yong of 1980, and more recently by the character of Pai Mei, as played by Gordon Liu, in the Hollywood film Kill Bill of 2004. Back Mei is a very no-nonsense direct striking system, and training involves the practice of violent jabbing and thrusting moves in partner drills. It is the only one in which people have trained where the teacher would often give them a tissue before class to blow your nose, because of the large exhaling movements you make when training, and they would also give you one afterwards to wipe away any blood from your nose, because inevitably one or the other of students will get punched in the face. Well, I hope you have enjoyed our little history lesson there, and that it takes much more sense that these stars are clearly associated with Feng. And many of the movements, as you've probably seen in the video, are some of the ones he's performing from the descriptions I've been given. Do you yourself practice Hong Ga, or Tiger Kung Fu, or any of the other styles we've talked about today? Perhaps you practice a completely different other style? Let me know in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe to this channel for more videos coming up, and also give me a heads up of who, which Tekken character you would like me to see do next. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Us.